We're starting here with question 6 for kinetics and equilibrium. There's a separate video for questions 1 through 5. And we're actually going to go 6 through 9. So with question 6, we're looking at which type of equilibrium exists in a sealed flask containing bromine as a liquid and bromine as a gas. In other words, Br2 liquid in equilibrium with Br2 gas. Well, obviously, this is just a change in phase back and forth. It's no solution equilibrium. There's no AQ here. There's no mention of, of any kind of um, water or anything like that. So we can cross out the choices that say solution. And, of course, it's phase. But here's the thing. Static would mean it's kind of standing still. That's not happening. Dynamic is a word that's used just as a reminder that the particles whether they're atoms, molecules, or ions that make up an equilibrium are always moving. That reactants are forming products. At the same time, products are reforming uh, reactants. In other words, choice three. If we look at question seven, we're dealing with a potential energy diagram here, and it's asked which number interval represents the heat of reaction. Well, heat of reaction is your change in what's called enthalpy, and that is given the symbol delta H and it's the enthalpy of the products minus the enthalpy of the reactants and on my little diagram here that the products would always be here the reactants here now these arrows are representing what you would actually look at on the um, y-axis but look at where what I'm looking for I'm looking for this line for products and the line for reactants, which it can only be choice four. Okay, I'm going to move on to the last two questions. Question eight, I'm dealing with a potential energy diagram again, and it's asking which uh, diagram represents a change in potential energy that occurs when a catalyst is added. Catalysts speed up. They can actually slow down reactions too, but on a potential energy diagram, what does that mean to you? That means that it messes up activation energy, which is the highest, where you have the reaction has to reach the highest point on the curve. In other words, if you're asked about a catalyst and it relates to a potential energy diagram, real simple, you're looking at the change in the middle. That's choice two here. Question nine, we have a lab. Soon investigates the concentration, the reaction between hydrochloric acid and magnesium changing only the concentration of hydrochloric acid. Data for two trials in the investigation are shown. Okay, so it says compared to, uh, to trial one, what is the expected reaction time for trial two and the explanation for that result? Well, the volume of HCl didn't change. However, we doubled the concentration of HCl and magnesium didn't change. Well, I would think we'd expect that if the concentration is higher for trial two, reaction time should goes down. That there's more HCl around, so you'll have more effective collisions, and therefore the reaction will run less than 48 seconds. And of course, we have to kind of read, do some reading here to figure that out, and the answer is choice two. Right, less than 48 seconds, because there are more effective particle collisions per second. Keep working hard. Check out more videos. Do as many questions as you can. Keep studying. Don't forget to check out my videos on the notes that go with each section. Those topics, I broke it up into vocabulary words that you need to know, facts that you need to know, um, also how to use the tables. All of this is important to get yourself ready to take your exam.